Let us understand how to find domain range of reciprocal function. So we have two transformed reciprocal functions here. The first one is y equals to minus 2 divided by x plus 1 and the second one is y equals to 1 over x minus 2 plus 1. We'll find domain range for these functions using transformation. So let's try to sketch the function. You know the function 1 over x is kind of like this. That is 1 over x. Now when I say that the function given to us is minus 2 divided by x plus 1. It really means that we have reflection, right, on x-axis. So that means these, the function which was originally in coordinate 3 and 1 will get reflected. So we'll have function coordinate 2 and 4, right? That is because of this minus. And x plus 1 means that there is a translation. So it is a horizontal translation, one unit left. So that means x equals to minus 1 will give us vertical asymptote. So we can draw a vertical asymptote here, saying this is x equals to minus 1. And the function really gets reflected. So what we get here is reflection kind of like this. So this part reflects up, that part comes down. So we have minus 2 over x plus 1 which is kind of like this. Okay. Now it is not very important in this case to find the y-intercept but you can always find it placing x equals to 0 gives us a value of minus 2. But what is important here is that domain has all the real numbers but not minus 1. So from here we can write that domain is set of real numbers where x is not equal to minus 1. So that is how we can find domain with the help of transformation. The other way of doing it is we cannot divide by 0. So you can equate denominator that is x plus 1 not equal to 0 and solve for x. So we get x not equal to minus 1. So that is a straight method even without looking into transformation. So you get the same answer. Now to find the range, range is affected by the y values and if you know this transformation, we know that the y value here cannot be 0 since the function is approaching 0. So range is y belongs to real numbers where y is not equal to 0. The other way to look into it is that as far as the transformations go, there is no vertical translations of up and down. Since there is no vertical translation, the range remains same as that of the original parent function 1 over x, correct? Where originally domain and range is all real numbers but x equals to not 0 is domain and y, equals, y not equal to 0 is the range. Since the function gets translated horizontally, only change is in the domain of the function but not in the range of the function. That's another way of looking into it. We'll apply this method here for the second example. So let's look into the second example. Now it says y equals to 1 over x minus 2 plus 1. You can clearly see that we have a horizontal translation which is 2 units to the right. 2 units right. And vertical translation. which is one unit up, right? So that gives us domain and range, right? So we can write domain as x belongs to real numbers where x earlier it is not equal to 0, now it is not equal to 2, it is not equal to 2. And range y 
should not be equal to 1, right? So y belongs to real numbers where y is not equal to 1, right? So that is one way of doing it. Alternate way of doing it is like this. Since we cannot divide by 0, we can equate x minus 2 is not equal to 0. That means x is not equal to 2. So we get the first part about the domain, right? So domain is not equal to 2, but it can be any other number. Now, as far as the range is concerned, since we translated one unit up, range is not equal to 1. The function is going to approach 1, but it will never be 1. But important criteria here to remember is that reciprocal function will always have two things, horizontal asymptote and vertical asymptote. which gives you these restrictions. So figure out horizontal and vertical asymptotes. A function cannot approach, a function can only approach horizontal asymptote, but it cannot be there. So that gives you restrictions with range, right? So horizontal asymptote gives you restrictions for the range, right? So this is for the range and the vertical asymptote. Translating left and right will give you restrictions for domain, right? So remember this part. So that is going to help you to find domain range for reciprocal function. Have a good look at it and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.